You Tommy? Thomas Angelo. Detective Norman. You alone. <laughs> no self-respect and badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just the coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, you yeah. said on the phone you might have a proposition for me. That's right. Well, if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, let's hear it. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah, I might have some. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money? Some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. I always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. <laughs> Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is you got someone powerful mean on your tail and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. Boss. Yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. Grace, I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts, when I first met Polly and Sam. Shit! trouble. Drive. How the hell they know we'd be there? It doesn't matter now. We just gotta lose them. Uh, how many cars we got following? One for now. But there'll be more. Hold tight. I'm gonna try some. Who were those guys? You don't get to ask questions. We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. 
Your leg will pay up there. Hurts like hell. When we're back, I'll wake up the doc. I don't know. It might be okay. He's getting the call anyways. Hey, I see you listening, cabbie. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. Okay, we're at the river. Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired out of questions. chance of him not seeing the sun come up. I ain't heard a thing, fellas. <laughs> you left them in the dark. We ain't clear yet. Keep driving. Poor bastards digging the road for the works program. Hard to thank us for this. Three crates down. How many motors were at the exchange? Four. Five. What the hell are we doing? Just sit tight and pray. Never done that before. Me neither. Okay, so little Italy. Now. Your night's not over. I didn't see this coming. You think he squealed? I think you zip it tight. We talk it through back at the bar. Please. Yeah, that's the one. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not? Compensation for your services. Any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. The scratches on your car, you swerved to keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? No, of course. See you around, kid.
When I opened the envelope, I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. After that night with Celieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there. Driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. So where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. Turn that racket off. I can't hear myself think. So, church, it's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. Stop there, by the park. Here you go, St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure, whatever you say. drive without the radio. Get him off the street! Better find a new fare. Art gallery. Give me that quick. Sure. Quick I can do. <gasps> Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just... talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Sold up before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. 
Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Pull up in front of the gallery. Thanks, pal. Here's 50 cents. I don't spend it all at once. I'll try not to. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. On to the next. Hey, over here! Like shit. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Booze. Figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. Who's got the money for cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. Cops see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Guess so. If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. <coughs> This city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. Up here on, on the corner, please. Read all about it. Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. How you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Huh? Oh. Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go helping Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much walking for a while, eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou! You got business with the Don? Nah, we just 
trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you got to say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay, then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. Thanks. At least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Silieri? Yeah, he's gonna wanna hear about this. You, son. Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of time he helped us. This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas grills hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's the new guy? The cabbie. We're helping him out. He's gonna drive the boss? Nah, you don't lose your job that easy. I hate sitting around. Boring as hell. If the boss says you're not ready to come out on collections, what can you do? I don't get what his problem is with me, Polly. What do you think I gotta do to... I think you shouldn't ask me, Carlo. Not gonna give a good answer. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loudmouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any, uh, heavy lifting. He makes sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. We're grateful for his dough. But we gotta go. Long drive back to work. That'd be good. Drove into the city this morning. Saw some cops on the corner. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. It's here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or rods? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> oh! Hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with him, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Tom. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out.
come back and see me later. If the Ralphie's boys... in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got away with cars. I don't get how this moron gets interested in her, but I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Polly, you can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sh 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 show up, Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said. Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across the, the, the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I wanna show you something about the good life and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, that guy's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. Stick a tin cab. So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep, new supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop-off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay, as long as we're careful. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through, if you want a bottle, just ask. We'll keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. Who us? You got a line in the good stuff. Well, that's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to set fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. Turf now. 
There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in a wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need Ah, we got cops! Either lose them or pay the fine, I guess. Hold it! Thank you, sir. We've got our eyes on you, pal. He's too kind. Now I'd keep your nose clean. Second. Okay. Second issue. Go back to your patrols. I get enough to get me out of the hole, then the next day. What a jackass! You're walking on the wrong sidewalk in a wrong part of town. You start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Okay, it's close by. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Boston sent us out on more chops. Yeah, he's got his name, guys. You'll get there someday. Let's get to these cars. Take your bat and start swinging. <coughs> ah, that's great. <coughs> no one's driving that again. Oh, crap. <coughs> hey, get away from the car. What's Knock him down, Tom. Putting you down. <coughs> got some kind of death wing. <coughs> Son of a. Hey. <coughs> Just like that. <coughs> Come on, Tom. <coughs> There's going to be more of them. Use a Molotov and let's see some flames. Love the smell of burning paintwork. Whole block heard that. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car? I'm gonna know where you can. This is reports of burning vehicles and gold fire in North Park. We can take it. Oh, it's right here, Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Straight through the gate. We gotta get out of here before the bulls show. There's Don't let him get away. Drive. Come back, Drive. you bastards. Yeah, you get it, boys. Ah, oh, shit. We got cops. So, uh, what do we do? You lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now, they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. Okay, we lost them. Stay out of sight till they lose interest.
Drive safe. They're still looking for us. All cars, pursuit is called off. Abandoned search. We're good. Let's head back and see the boss. I thought Silieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. How did it feel? Feel good? How would what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. There's no time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. Had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Your brother or your uncle or... Oh, some guys, sure. Their cousin got made or you like Carlos, pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. There's plenty of us who came in off the street. I'm thinking we get you in front of the boss, then we tip a few. Well, I don't got plans, so... Sure you don't got plans. The plans are to feed Vinny so much booze that Luigi has to roll him out the door again. I'm good with whatever. <laughs> sure you are. I sent you out with. Dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. A b -b better car with a b -b broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody. He's still with you then? Somehow, yeah. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to think straight for weeks. See? That's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make... It's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella, he's a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you, but you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. 
And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. <sighs> Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter, Sarah, Maron. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. <laughs> but what I did I know? Finish. You, Tommy? Come yeah. On, Boss is waiting get for you. Back. Thanks. Here he is. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. That's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive? Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do? and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Ah, oh, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent since he lost the cars. Ah, what's losing some motor? Hey, just the guy. I saw this. And I thought of you. You ever carry a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Good posture, real mean. Now, click, click, click. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay, now show me a reload. I right, open the chamber and away you go. All right, last thing, needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind something and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's Finney.
You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And then afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Come on, Tommy. Show me what. Okay, it's a car. You got it. Have a good day, for fellas. First, we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. Okay, this is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha! So little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. That's <laughs> oh, good to hear, Al. Real good. Now, you has got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. <sighs> it's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al. I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you? Where's the money? Heron, fetch it! It's on the table, brown envelope! Via di qui! Lasciateci in pace! I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your ma, huh? It, it was a real pleasure meeting you. Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. The guy who used to run this next place, Tom? His name's not Eugene. The guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly well, slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs there in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too.
This is it. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. But it is going back to the community. He's doing the store on his own? Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own. She's got to let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Got to let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, the guy ended up in a wheelchair. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Drive before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week, with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And eh, nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. You wanna come out with us again, Tom? get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you oughta... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> When little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. Safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before he lost heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Well, happy to oblige. Okay. There it is. Finally! Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. I took 
What? Jesus Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Phil. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. to work on you, buddy. Christ. Come on. You'll be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. Thought it cost. What it meant to be on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. So that's how a regular Palooka goes from cabby to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. It didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like. I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? 
Yeah, got his name in the Moreto file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You drive with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Tom, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. Do you know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. The grills look bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin I got... <laughs> Tail, pal. Got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We're running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect, small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. <laughs> I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. It should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Look at this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this mook. So that's a foul. Holly, that's a he drove you home. <laughs> hey, buona sera, Tom. Hmm. So that's a five, a six, uh, along with what's already behind the bar. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? 
You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Gotta send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is, then look someplace else while you turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sure. Then there's this other guy, Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back, and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. But Bobby comes off shift at 1.30, and then the next guy, he's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your motor safe where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. You Bobby? Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a dame than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Okay, this is it. She is. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this on the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece, too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Berton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard.
Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Okay, she's done. Thanks, Lucas. I gotta get back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri. I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay, drive careful. Thank Christ. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying. 
got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just got to make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom. You got the moment. Oh. Sure, Frank. We've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Sent him to the hospital. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win, but more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. From Europe, we got the hotshot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite, Mikey Dunn, is out. Replacing him is, uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. The night falls away, but there are some worthy faces from the mechanics in the pit lane. Lichtenberg's in trouble. There's something up with this car. Lichtenberg is out.
Are these the final podium places, or is it someone else's time to shine? The leading drivers are on the final lap. Not long till it's all over, folks. Ah, amateur! Angelo there, back in the leading position. Can he hold on? Who's going to catch the leading driver, Tommy Angelo? Tommy! There's <laughs> our winner! Hey, Tom. Just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morel's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. Up, boys. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Something, huh? Cheers. Nah, but, uh... Maybe I'll buy my ma a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so... Drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy, Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. Polly and the rest of your pals have drunk through half my bar already. You found him yet? That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until 6. Please leave when requested. My hero. You're a natural wheel man, Tom. You seen Polly anywhere, Vin? He said he was gonna go eat to soak up the boots. But I never seen cannolis come that big. <laughs> you mama made that well easy to Tommy. When they started, started racing here 20 years ago, most guys did, did, didn't even make the finish. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed it where to go. Hey, you seen Polly? Oh, no. He said he was uh, uh, hungry or something. Okay. You enjoy yourself. She sure sure will, Tom. Thanks. That win just put my daughter through another year at school, Tom. Hey, 
Anything for the Coletis. Well, enjoy the moment. But deal with Polly before he embarrasses himself and the family. I will not let the boss's day end this hourly. You don't have to worry, Frank. I'll find him. Great race, champ. I've been asked by the LHPD to remind all racegoers that the sale and consumption of alcohol is strictly prohibited. An arrest will be made. Thank you. This your first time at the track? Last year I heard the motors from my apartment, but that's as close as I've gotten before. They'll start to try to clear us out before dark. How'd she drive after the tuna? The Tried to go sidelong at the five brick walls, but we made it. You see Polly any place? Okay, my five minutes ago, maybe. Looked like it had a smell from the barrel. Sounds about right. Thanks, Lucas. Great race, champ. Hey! Last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dough, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? Guy's soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard it. guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day at the track's over. Cow says moo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect! Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home, too before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. <laughs> Let's go, Jim. <laughs> today, Tommy, with the, the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said, this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. We all got our. You're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the Don and your mind's racing. Then some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks it. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... <laughs> whoever the hell he goes home to. Polly, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, I want to go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies! Take me to the Blue Tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies! Take me to those sweet patooties. I don't know. Taking you home seems more classy. 
All right, now we're talking. Oh boy. You should see these dames, Tom. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'll leave it to you to swim with the Barracudas, Polly. You're gonna have to tell me where the hell I'm driving. You don't know? I don't know. It's there's a blue sign. I need more than that. There's a blue sign and it says Blue Tropics and it's right near the docks. <sighs> Figures. Check a map or something. Down some alley right near here. It's like this dark, narrow street. The ladies are on the corner. And there's a blue there's sign. A yeah, it's a blue sign at the end of the street. It says Blue Tropics. Looks like a game. <laughs> I feel dirty just driving you there. That's it. That's the place. See? A blue sign. Thank Christ. Girls, it's me, Polly. Ah, jeez. Sweet dreams, tough guy. <sighs> yeah, that's the call, Tom. You want anything else? Nah, I'm heading home. Hey, Tom, uh, before you go, I ask maybe a small favor, huh? Sure, Luigi, what do you need? Walk my daughter home. Sarah? The way I hear it, she doesn't need any kind of escort. <laughs> she's, uh, she's a tough. This is a pack of boys near her place. The punks, you know, cattivi ragazzi. They talk blue, make advances. Sarah, she's gonna speak at the mind. But maybe she says something they don't like. Things get ugly. But if you work in at home, this is a reminder this punk she's the dawn's a goddaughter. No problem, Luigi. I'd be honest. <laughs> Benny. Sarah, the time is to close. What's this then? Uh, Tom is uh, Tom's gonna take you. That right. Hey, I just work here. Make sure nobody bother you. Fine. If it'll make you feel better, Pop. Hey. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Let me get my coat. I'll wait for you outside. You okay? I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about meeting up tonight anyway. I guess. Then you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. I'm not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. You know, we gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Polly won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally gonna be the day he fixes his own breakfast. Could you knock on the door? Only got so many hands here.
that for me? Yeah, though it's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The Dawn hates seeing food go to waste. And this? This has got to be Tammy. Sarah told us all about you. That right. You're a famous race driver, Tam. Everyone talks about you. Yeah, she's right. They do. Well, anyways, don't let the cold in, Juliet. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Night. Buena noche, Tammy. Hey, Mama! Your angel Sarah brought more food. It's nice you do that. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. Yeah. Well, it's, um, it's a good night for a walk anyway. Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. I try to avoid it. That's all you got? You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is, good night for a walk anyways? <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. Flowers for the lady, signore? Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers? When you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Luigi, then you get the flowers. Eh, that could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you, I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. If you did, you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Ah, so now we are... I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo. All this time. Hey, let's go someplace. Tomorrow night, maybe. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. Oh! Hey there, darling! Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten, doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. <laughs> I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well... <laughs> then let's see what you got, Cake Eater. Mm. Where you going here, sweet cheeks? <laughs> Billy Trey. <Trayton. laughs> You're some kind of dish, <laughs> ain't ya? Get away from me! <laughs> Twist my face <laughs> wasted on that greaser. Those kids <laughs> You even touched me in the You're wasting <laughs>
That's what I got, you son of a bitch. <laughs> You got a good right hook, I'll give you that. You're bleeding. Come up to my place, I'll take a look. Well, you gonna come in and take a load off, or what? I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. The bank's closed, Slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? No, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You wanna pretend it don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Dan. Take another. All right. You're gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. Cause I don't need the little old lady next door complaining to the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? Oh, it's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. They're right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. And Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Because she was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but it'll hold. The scar will be something to remember you by, if nothing else. <laughs> You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. And the heat's out. Miss up, though. This can't stand. Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad, even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holed up. My friend on the force says we should start looking into Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy, go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Some of these sons of bitches could still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good hunting. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go right. bust some heads. We got work to do. These punks showing disrespect. Where's the respect in this city gone, Frank? That guy's calling after Sarah in the street.
Hey, 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 here for some heaters, Tom. Nah, I'm already going and healed. Polly and me, we gotta give a beating to some punks who've been on our turf. I don't wanna pull this and piss in our own street. There's something to bust heads, that's all we need. Sam turned over some guy's warehouse and, uh... Autographed by Babe Ruth himself, the guy said. I mean, it's horse shit, but they bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. Not at all. Thanks, Vinny. You had problems with some punks. G -g guys near Sarah's. They give you problems too? Think so. If they haven't already, they did they would. You're not gonna have to worry about them anymore. World's not gonna run out of them, T -t Tom. They the day you wanna stop staring them in the face, you can walk away. A fellow like me. That's why I'm in here. Now, a news report on the rising crime figures and the reaction from the governor's mansion. The numbers state in black and white that crime is on the rise all over the state. Many commentators are blaming the rise in criminality, thievery, racketeering, and other gangsterism on the economic downturn and resulting social deprivation. In the greater Lost Heaven area last year, there was a sharp increase in the number of gang-related incidents and the chief of police was moved to create a gang task force known informally as the Rat Catchers. But Governor Wells, who has suffered criticism for his handling of the increase in violent crime, thinks otherwise. He said, there can be no dispute that times are hard for many. Jobs are fewer and farther between. But that simply is no reason to bite one's thumb at the rule of law. In fact, I feel that adversity has the potential of forging a hardier individual and a more harmonious family unit. Governor Wells came in for some criticism from certain sections, while others were quick to praise him for his commitment to straight talking. How either interpretation plays with the electorate remains to be seen. One thing is certain, however, and that is the current levels of crime are out of control. Join me for another news bulletin later. About time. Come on, it went through. Why Biff moved into this dump, I'll never know. Give him a break. He's in love. Ah, he got yellow fever the time we boosted the Shanghai skin flicks. Well, I like it anyways. Problem with you, Tom, you always soft with the dames. Biff, you fat bastard. What are you doing? Chut ma, no chin. They tang all day tea. Dogface, great to see you. Call her off, Biff. We got business. Upstairs, please. So, what's the beef? Need some information. Got some jokers causing trouble. They mess with Luigi's daughter. Plenty of hoods around. You got any more? One of them's a weasel named Billy. Pals with a prissy chump and a bruiser with a bald head. Right, right. I know him. They're set up in the old service station in a block over. They hock some gear every now and then, in small time. <laughs> That's why I need to come to you, Biff. You're good with small time. Out the back, cross the street. You'll find them there. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Polly. Uh, about that dough? Relax. Just waiting for my guy to come through. It'll be next week. Just sit tight. What was that back there? 
You and Biff got something going on. I know is bringing in a shipment of suits. Classic ones, Mexican. You're getting suits from Mexico? No, idiot. The suits are boosted from a lockup downtown. The tailor is from Mexico. Originally, anyways, he lives in Holbrook. Did Don know about this? Yeah, yeah, I'll get his cut. You just keep this under your hat. I guess I heard nothing. You gonna know these punks when you see them? Yeah. No, I guess if I don't, all we gotta do is find the other guys in Chinatown who look like we do. There it is. Here's how we do this. I walk in and start beating people. We're gonna do the same. No shooters. You take long thinking that one up. Nah, this plane gets used a lot. I think we gotta go in through the side. I'm the nicest ass I've ever seen in my life. Yo, <laughs> yo. Oh, oh, Billy, it's the guy from the other night. We gotta go.
Go careful, Tom. The road's a river. Don't worry, I got this. You ever seen guys piss their pants this quick? If you look through the rain, you can see it dripping out the back of their car. Guys are gonna regret they ever set eyes on Sarah, huh? They think they're gonna get away, huh? They ain't seen you drive like I have. Son of a bitch just wrecked himself. Well, they're not walking away from that. Go on a pop and pop. No. No, no, wait. Please. Please, I don't want to. Fucking die, man. Christ, Tom. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. This I'm out. But this one's finished too. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> mm. Oh, Christ, Tom. Snap out of it. You remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? Yeah. Just, uh... Hey. Let's get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? Simple straight. Oh. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Polly. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. Corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now we got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. It gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look. We're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. You sending Tommy to dip his wick? It's a brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. 
Madonna's invested a lot of money in it over the years. So me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? Morello wants to take businesses away from us? He'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah, but be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get me. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. All right, let's go. Go see Vinny. I'll meet you here. Heard you in the market for something that goes boom. Give those girls a squeeze from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today, Vinny. We have to talk. Get in. Don't go any place yet. You gotta hear me out on this. It's about the girl. Michelle? Right. You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. I'd been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave town? When she understands what'll happen otherwise, yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. Make sure she gets far away. Okay, sir. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. Let's go. Michelle. She's the one from the racetrack, right? Tom, that was the last time we're ever gonna talk about her. Ever. I told you what I had to ask, and you listened. Gotta leave it there. Okay. Keep your head when you get in at a hotel. Find your mark and don't act suspicious. The manager thinks he's untouchable. You can probably walk right up to him. Anything else I should know? Nah, just don't take all day. Pilate died young, so there can't be much to say about him. When the bomb goes off, I'll do my thing. Got it. What kind of world is it that when you screw up, you get sent to a cat house? Well, I have to clean up your mess at a funeral. You see the justice in that? I see a job I gotta do. Such a professional. Just try to finish a job this time, huh? First time I've been to a church in a while. Well, I'm gonna guess they're still singing the same songs. Last time I went, it was. Same songs I always heard as a kid. Yeah, you're not the religious type. It's the funerals, Tom. That's all it ever is. 
All that anyone ever wants to do is point guns at the family and shoot. Game point, there were so many funerals, I just stopped going to most of them. They're all boring as hell. That's a shame, seeing as you're always dressed for the occasion. Great gag, Tom. Write that one down. Thanks. I'll do that. Now, weddings. Weddings are less boring. I'd go to one of them. You working on that? Uh, guess so. Good. Because I've given up waiting on Polly. Guy couldn't get a broad to stick to him if they went swimming through glue. Ah, uh, he'll find someone. Tom, if his own mother has given up hope, then you can give up hope too. Here's your stuff. I'll give the family your condolences. Good luck. You too. Behave yourself in here, okay? Hey, handsome. You get a room when you get a guy. Not you before. want a good time? Ah, so fine. You know the rules, Dottie. Can I help you? I need to talk with the manager. You with our new associates. He's in a lounge. Head through the bar. Can't miss it. Something else? Is Michelle in today? Let me check. She's busy. If you're waiting for Michelle to come down, she ain't gone. She's got fellows in with her all day long. next door if you need to. You're his best girl, and he says he wants you here to entertain the new guys he's getting protection from. It don't matter how sick your kid is, you gotta come in and work. Listen, you wanna go back to the rest of the girls in the corner six and maybe? Then be my guest. No one can find you in your fur coat and flashing the car's look when there's snow at your feet and you can't feel your legs for the wind and cold. I'm doing you a favor. Your kid will get better. But you're working on the street again, it'll seem worse. Leave him with your neighbor. Get here quick and pray to God he don't notice you late. I'll cover for you. That's how we do it for so long. I'll leave you with you. Bye. Michelle. What's it to you? 
Fella named Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. Works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. Well, the Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping guns with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. Tell him I'm sorry. Tell him I will never open my mouth again. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're scared then. Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're going to find you with two in the head. Do you understand? Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is gonna blow soon. Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square. between the Corleone Hotel and the Morello family will be long and fruitful. Cover! 
Over here! It's not what it looks like. Get 
Contact with the fellas on the roof. Feels like we lost him. No matter how far we've fallen, we can find redemption in death. Now, William, he was a sinner, yes, but he was also a loving son, a protective brother, and a loyal friend. And for those virtues, we pray that his soul will find salvation. And now, I believe, one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words. Thank you, Father. I, uh... I just wanted to pay my respects. Billy, I never said this, but... I consider you my brother. I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a beat. So I don't know how I'm good... What are you doing? Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy who killed Billy! Yeah! Jesus, what was Billy involved in? Over here! have you done? Murder in the house of God! These men were criminals, Father. Thieves. Rapists. Killers. And God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness. Now, which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor? Which one might have saved just one life? None of us, Father. You bastard. If you have any confessions to make, you better do it quick. No more bloodshed, please! I'm sorry, Father. <sighs> Consider this an act of divine retribution.
Then make us even. Sure. For now. For your trouble, father. I don't want your blood money. You took theirs. Not a lot of difference from where I'm standing. That should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes. And keep you quiet. <sighs> when the cops come... You tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. Must have been from out of town. Right? I won't lie. But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked into church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on. We gotta go. Today didn't turn out like I expected. Just drive. Or we'll end up in the back. Whatever you did at the cat house got the cops plenty pissed. Yeah, it was messy, but I got everything done. Everything? Okay. Yeah. We lost. Everything. Thank Christ. Gonna be trying to forget today for a long time. You're telling me. Let's get back to the bar. We gotta lie low. The way this all went down, we gotta lie low for weeks. Ah, the priest will keep his trap shut. Don't worry. Morello got a bloody nose, and you and Polly are in the clear for whacking Galati's son. Boss will be pleased. Thanks again, Sam, for helping me out back there. 
I thought my time was up. It's not anything you wouldn't do for me. I know. But when you come that close to biting it, Christ, it's... Don't need to tell me about that. Just don't think about it. Best lesson I could ever teach you. Don't think about anything. Back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tommy. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back, eh? You got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. Sure. Back in the day, when the boss was still with that phone, he got called out to a hit. Some uh, politician on the take. And he stopped. Thanks for waiting, Tom. But Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at a farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city. But I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. Okay. Get the car from Ralphie. Can meet Paulie at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case earmarked for the Don. This mama motor is yours if you want it, Tommy. Thanks, Ralph. Working late, Ralphie? I says his sleep when f -f Frank sleeps. Man, he's been w working us hard. Morello's taking bites out of business everywhere else, Ralph. Booze records where we shine. We gotta stay ahead someplace. Ah, well, I, I just f -f -f fixed the cars to time. I, I changed the p -p plates again. You can't be too careful. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. some adverse effects across the municipal area. A large storm front not expected to arrive for several days hit Lost Heaven late this afternoon, releasing a deluge of rainfall on the city. If you've been out in the last couple of hours, you don't need me to tell you. There are reports coming in of a number of traffic accidents attributed to the downpour, with fender benders occurring in Oakwood and Chinatown. A more serious accident has occurred near the White Harbor Hotel, which is causing traffic to back up on the East Marshall Bridge all the way into downtown. The police department is attending incidents as they can, but they've now issued advice that people should not venture out on the roads unless their journey is strictly necessary. The roads are treacherous, ladies and gentlemen, so however a good driver you may be, it's just not worth the risk to you or anyone else. It would seem the best thing to do on a night like this is to stay at home with your loved ones and keep brown and dry. I know where I'd rather be on a night like this. In addition to the problems we've been hearing of on the roads, air traffic in and out of the city has been suspended by order of the Aviation Authority. All scheduled flights departing Lost Heaven International have been grounded, and those scheduled to arrive into that airport have been canceled or diverted elsewhere. Now, as bad as that may sound, the latest report from the weather service that I've just been handed states that although the rain is heavy at this moment, and that all warnings should be heated, the storm isn't expected to last all that long. 
certainly it doesn't seem like it will be anything like the big one of 1927. High winds are pushing the storm over us at quite a rate. We will, of course, keep you informed with news on the hour. But before I return you to our musical programming, let me reiterate that the Lost Heaven Police Department strongly advises against motor travel at this time. And on a personal note, I advise staying with your family, friends, or loved ones and waiting out this dreadful storm in the warmth of the home. That's all for now. Some music will be along shortly, and I'll be back to check in with you later. Thank you for listening. It's just about that time, ain't it, folks? Time to light up a big break red and let the troubles of the day go up in smoke. Big Break and Lost Heaven Radio help you take a break from it all. Tom! Hey, hey! Watch it, pal! Just dry it out. Say, you know this place? Oh, uh, yeah. We've done a few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. It's gonna be an easy few clams. Boys will load up the trucks, and we'll come straight back. Yeah, let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Ah, uh, you see it sooner or later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, uh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. going home to a couch. <laughs> now I wonder what kind of story she could tell about her old man, though. He was a stone-cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. I bet she's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. God damn it. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. Don't let your Pekka get all shriveled up. Probably just trying to get out of the rain or into the bootleg. <laughs> That'll wake him. He ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find him. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here. Just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you. Guy we 
pay to keep this place in check. Don't even pretend to farm now. Jesus. Drop your weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay, then. Get over here! I got him pinned down! It must have taken longer to die. Wow! Oh! It's me, Tom! Polly! What took you so long? Looking for Sammy? Did you find him? Not yet. Just him. Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts to rest the face down in the dirt, too. Oh, Christ. Your cops, Tommy. Well, how would I know? They didn't show a badge. God, they didn't say anything. They must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. These guys are the real deal. They gotta be cops from the Border Patrol. Fuck. They've come heavy, all right. Make Lost Heaven PD look like pussycats.
You want to quiet down, Polly? Tommy! You don't want to see this! Jesus. Looks like we found the Canadians. See Sam in there? No. <sighs> Glad some. Poor bastards. Check every building. Christ, we gotta get to him. You boys stay here and watch our backs. Plug anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Except us. Okay, okay, just hang on. I'll go get the truck, then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey, you're gonna make it, Sam. Tommy, 
Stay here with him. I'll be back. I'll be back in a flash. Okay. It'll be okay, Sam. We survived worse. You sure? You sure we are? Where'd all these guys come Where from? Go make your mouth, Tom! Thank Christ, you came from the dead. Uh. Jesus Christ! Ugh. Where's the goddamn truck? Crap, we got cops! Tony and Donnie too? Yeah. What a fucking massacre. How's Sam? Well, he ain't any worse. I'll go get him. Keep an eye out.
Doing here so late. Uh, uh, evening, Doc. 
Sorry to wake you, but um, we had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I'll stay with Sam. You can take the truck back. Call it a night. No, I'll wait. <laughs> The doc's already got his hands full. No sense in both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Tom. I'm gonna be fine. Okay. Hey. You did good tonight. and the day's work is done, but we're still here. Lost Heaven Radio, 570 AM. Proven to cause no irritation or tobacco hangover, Big Break Blues are the choice of more doctors and professionals than any other cigarette on the market. That tells you a thing or two, doesn't it? Make sure you're in good company by choosing Big Break. Now, we return you to our scheduled business.
You're late. Dinner's cold. Work. Hey, boss. I came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. Who? I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking for Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. <sighs> More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. And when you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Chenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Tommy. Tough day today, Tom. We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got your clean set of wheels. And something special here. If you want it. Frank sees a Lapara, you'll know. The old ways work. Whatever it takes, Tom. <laughs> And now for the latest news. 
The Navy is today continuing its search for the remains of those brave souls lost aboard the airship USS Akron. The Akron was destroyed in a violent thunderstorm off the New Jersey coast Tuesday morning with the loss of 73 of 76 aboard. The disaster stands as the worst aviation accident on record. Yesterday, one of the survivors, Lieutenant Commander Herbert B. Wiley, spoke to members of the press and gave a brief account of the tragedy. He also spoke of the survivor's rescue by the German tanker, Phoebus. President Roosevelt has described the loss of the Akron as a national disaster and said that he grieves with the lives and families of those lost and the nation. We will bring you more on the disaster and the Navy's search as we receive it. Thank you for listening. We return now to our scheduled programming. For the best music and the latest deals, stay with Behringer's Radio. Tommy, what's the rumpus? Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Uh, depends. <laughs> what's it worth to you? 20 bucks. How about 40? All right, spill. The FBI's in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the Black Cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Always a pleasure, Tommy. Anticipation as we await the start of the big game. Our very own Lost Heaven Lancers are out on the road, deep in enemy territory as they take on bitter rivals, the Empire Bay Cannons. This year's Gold Series is shaping up to be one of the best on record, with both teams matching one another blow for blow. Despite the Cannons' home field advantage and an early lead in the series, the Lancers have bounced back and have really taken their rivals to task. Many of the plotted and column inches have been dedicated to one man. Lancers pitcher Bunny Smith is one of this year's standout performers. And with this series tied at 3-3, three three, he may well be the key man that brings the Wisman Trophy back to Lost Heaven. But doing so will be no easy task, as standing in his way is opposition captain, Harcourt, Jack Seidel. This is the of in favor of the Empire Bay team. Victory was canceled out by the Lancers in Game 6, and we now have a powder keg finale that is sure to have everyone glued to their radios. Can Bunny Smith bring it home for Lost Heaven? Or will the cannon's towering redhead have the final say? WLH 570 Lost Heaven Radio will carry live coverage of the final game of the Gold Series, and we hope you'll join us in wishing our boys well. And now, back to some of the latest musical numbers. Everything okay, Tom? Nah. Nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Let on that Councilor Gilatis brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. 
I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom? What's going on? Seven of the Gold Series. And by the looks of it, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be underway any minute now. The crowd here in the armory are restless. You can almost taste the tension as we approach this, the deciding game between these two famous rivals. More than a little bad blood between them and more than a couple of nasty flare-ups in recent years. Of course, this occasion, more than any other, could prove feisty. What with the drama that closed out the previous game. That, of course, saw the Lancers win to tie the series, and it's not often Empire Bay and Lost Heaven can boast the game's best current hitter and pitcher, respectively. I refer, of course, to Foghorn Seidel, a man mountain with a shock of red hair, and Lancers star, Bunny Smith. Speaking of Smith, he is jogging, I suppose you'd say, between his teammates, issuing last-minute orders. They seem responsive to whatever he's saying. He commands respect from his team, that is for sure. My goodness, there must be some nerves among some of the younger Lancers, Elms, Graves, and Nicholson. Smith seem to have pepped them up. That's good to see. That's what a good captain does. The cannons lineup is meandering over to the home team dugout. The Lancers are slowly taking up their position so we can't be too far away from the opening pitch here at the Arkham, the home of the Empire Bay Cannons. Stay with us for more. Looks like the place. Take me to those account books, Frank. And we return now to coverage what could be the final play of this game and the series between the Lost Heaven Lancers and the Empire Bay Cannons. A quick reminder that this final inning is being brought to you by Swift Cola. When you need a lift, reach for a Swift. It's not only a taste sensation, it's guaranteed to increase focus, drive, and mental clarity. Pick up a bottle of Swift Cola today. And as we are coming to a close, let me thank today's other sponsors, Big Break Cigarettes and Lost Heaven Courier. Both of these teams could be said to be entering golden eras. Each team has a star player at the core with promising youngsters set around. Too. I refer, of course, to Smith and Seidel. The Cannons have had several such golden periods. The Lancers, it's fair to say, have not. I can see Lancers manager Frankie Hodge prowling in front of the dugout, gesticulating. He seems animated, to say the least. Looks like he's putting one of the officials in his place or something or other. With the noise of the crowd, it is quite hard to say for sure. Whatever's going on down there, you can feel the sense of occasion. And you just know that whatever happens, the crowd will be the first to tell you what has happened. The Lancers are now within minutes of snatching the Gold Series, which at one stage had appeared doomed. But they equally teeter on the edge of defeat. It all comes down to the final play. Nobody is warming up in the bullpen. Nobody down there is considering the possibility of extra innings. 
Bunny Smith then standing on the mound, a look of steely determination on his face. He's betraying no emotion, doesn't look nervous or tired after his exertions this series, nor does he appear to be carrying the weight of expectation. He's having a word with the umpire about something or other. What a strapping fella. Six kind of two, hundred and twenty-five pounds. If the Lancers are to win here today, he's going to write himself into the record books. And boy, oh boy, what that would mean to the people of Lost Heaven after such a long time without glory on the diamond. All right, they've sorted out whatever was going on. Here we go then. In for the cannons, it's Patty Doherty. Smith is pitching the game of his life, but Doherty's a big man. If he can catch one, it could run, and with bases loaded, the cannons would have it. Here we go. Doherty facing down Smith. Pass ball and strike. The big man thought he had it. Some speed on that ball. My goodness. It's fair to say Doherty looks a little spooked. He was convinced he had it. His body language tells the tale. Smith remains cool under pressure. Not a flicker of emotion on his face. He winds up. And that's two. There was zip on that one. Good luck. Seidel is barking something at Doherty, but we have no chance of hearing it as the noise ah, of the crowd shit. reaches fever pitch. They're taking you to the airport, Doherty Frank. Gesturing, and that's only making Seidel more irate. This is it, folks. Another strike, and the Lancers win. If Doherty can get behind it, surely the cannons will get all their men home and snatch victory. A swing and a miss, and that's the winners! Lancers win! Lancers win! And Smith finally cracks an elated smile. He's thrown his cap in the air, as have his teammates. There's a reason the racers of the Lost Heaven Grand Prix use only Trago motor oil, and that's because only Trago makes engines perform at their maximum while guarding against wear and tear. For optimal performance, Trago lets you go, go, go. Scheduled music programs and regular news bulletins brought to you by Lost Heaven Radio. They're flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good. Anyone know what's going on? There with the FBI. It's some sort of handover. Someone's being flown out. Oh, they're handing him over to who? Those men with the plane look like gangsters. How long till they're done? I'm due to fly. As soon as they fly. Get it done quietly and go home. He's some kind of gangster. Why the hell isn't he being flown out by the feds? He can show his face Only a for a rat like you? Like nah. Get in the car. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Salieri dies in jail. It's a good day, my friend. Tom. Frank. The Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over yet? I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of him. Tell them to get on a plane. Go on, March. Alice, get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March! For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. You been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks.
Beautiful day, huh? Uh-huh. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, uh, yes. Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came, and to provide access. Please, follow me. Got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. It's a hell of a thing. Look at these houses. Big yards, white picket fences. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. Not for you? No, sir. I don't like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor? The same. Merle let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. That him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. Si, o capisco. Tommy. If you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, regards. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Piacere di... di conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> per favore.
parli almeno un po' di italiano? Il capo ti ha detto il piano? Uh, I don't speak Italian. Eccellente. Ah, fantastico. Uh, no plan? Yeah, the bus told me. Ah, uh, please. Uh, uh, understand. Entriamo dal laberinto senza Police? Ah, uh, please. Uh, uh, understand. Entriamo dal laberinto senza farci sentire né vedere. La cassaforte è dietro un dipinto al primo piano. Dammi un po' di tempo e lascia fare tutto a me. Quella cassaforte avrà sicuramente un allarme. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be a long night for the both of us. Ah, Cristo Santo. Ok, my turn. Do what I do. Do not get caught. Sì. You gotta keep safe. Safe? Sì. Uh, it's um, uh, my job. Apro cassaforte. Open safe. Christ. Ok. Radio. Let's listen to the radio. Eccellente. Ecco. Entriamo da lì. Uh, over. Wall. Labirinto. Oh, a maze. Sì, un labirinto. Stay here while I take out the guards. A quanto pare in America hanno il labirinto. <coughs> evening for standing around, I guess.
that's all of them. Salvatore, where are you? We're clear. Tommy, I hear. Where the hell did he go? Sono qui, Tommy. Guy's a pain in the ass. Forza, piedi, come. Uff, sei un tipo tosto, eh? What? Saying it's behind the painting. See, si, see. Si. Okay, I understand. Non quello. Guess we got another room to check. There's one. What you can do. Shit. Be quick, Salvatore. Pacenza, pacenza. Stay back! I'll deal with him! Hear that? It's your first time. Forza! Andiamo, Gene! Presto! E 
Yes, I mean, I use theory. I know. Whatever you're saying, I know. What is it? Sempre così! He's gone. Go back to patrols. Ah, grazie a Dio. Salvatore, where do I take you now? Home. Yeah, where home? Uh, six uh, and uh, Maple. Okay, let's go. Increase attention and mental clarity. When you need a lift, reach for a swing. Devo dirti una cosa. Al nostro prossimo lavoro penso io alla casa forte. Hai capito? Ci ho quasi rimesso la pelle in quella villa. Ed è tutta colpa tua. E impara almeno un po' d'italiano. Per rispetto della nostra patria. Ah, è come parlare al mio cane, lo so. Ma Cristo, dovevo dirlo. Non farlo mai più. Mai più. Ok, ok. Uh... Sure. Recognize this guy yeah, until the so next time. That'll be an issue. Go back to your patrols. All officers, search is called off. Repeat, abandon search. Return to patrols. <sighs> Good night. Uh, night. the last of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for ten years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. You heard him. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss, any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah. And you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south. And he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm. And he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. 
He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries, and I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. We'll be cutting up the last beam pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab ass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. We won't let you down, boss. Don't make me regret giving you some time out there in the streets with the guys, Carlo. You don't have to worry about me. I know I don't. Tommy does that for me. I'll keep your driver safe, boss. Wanna fortuna, boys. Sam and little Bill said to meet him downtown. You okay, Carlo? Looking kind of like you shake yourself. Ah, uh, get bent. Big moment, huh? Finally running with the pack. Listen, I spend more time with a Don than all of you've put together. Sure. Sure. Sat out on the road waiting till he's finished with his broad. <laughs> if you don't want me to come, I won't. It's fine. Boss doesn't have to know. Nah, you're coming. The boss said you're coming. Just... You got a face like you're being taken for an airing. I don't want Gates thinking we're frails. Why is Gates sell on Morello anyways? First time Gates pulled in with his trucks, Morello decided to change up the terms. The big guy himself popped him in the nose as part of their renegotiation. His nose is gonna get more in a pop if Morello hears we're involved. That's why we're pretending to stick him up. Then he'll go back to his pop and tell a sob story about being robbed at gunpoint. He'll convince his old man that Morello can't protect the merchandise. He'll need to find a new buyer out here, and he's heard of a stand-up guy named a Salieri. This plan is some bullshit, Tom. Polly told it to me yesterday, and somehow it's gotten worse. Hey, when you get a lead for the boss, and you don't just drive him places, then, then you get to pick holes. So then, shut your damn mouth. Ah, whatever helps you sleep. When Morello tracks you down, don't come crying to me. You serious? You actually serious? Fellas, knock it off. Christ. I do a lot of deals here. Parking attendant don't ask for much dough. Always closes up shop till I'm done. Okay, we're good. Gates is waiting up on the top floor. This seems clear so far. Only people with cars and people with jobs. Nine to five, place is deserted. Well, we got jobs and we're here. That kind of a job, sure. Anything else we need to know about Gates, Polly? Only that he's got a bust-up nose and crates full of the good stuff. Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Park up over there.
Polly. Good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well, I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more rents. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we are always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. <sighs> Uh, no, no! It's okay. Oh. What? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, uh, don't worry, pal. With all the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> Watch out! Gates took a bullet. And this ain't as bad as it looks. Now take the booze and get. My guys will come for me. Now go, go, go. So long as you guys clear them out up ahead, I'll be safe here with the little guy. Carlo, in the cab with me. You know you stead. Tommy, check for more of them. This thing ain't over. Come on, I'll back you up. More of them.
is intense. I still feel flames on my face. Christ. Stay close and keep moving, fellas. Keep the boost safe. Yeah, this wasn't over. I'll the truck with you. You see more? Need it! Catch! Where the hell is that? Grab a set of wheels and watch my back. Sure, Sam. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beefers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. I knew it! We got more guys on us! Okay, let's slow them down some. Hit them where it hurts! We are too! Them all. Thank Christ for that. Let's head home. See what we got. We got the booze. I mean, I know it didn't go to plan, but we got the booze. Yeah. So tonight, me and you are gonna drink a bunch of it. I guess we earned that much. It's like a 38. Morello's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Well, he took a slug to the shoulder, but uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet, man. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Excellent. 
I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo! Saludo! Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Working up to it, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And the bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. All that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into new records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything except peddling dope. And by 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Polly had a few records of his own. Wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Yeah, that was it. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Salieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Wait. Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off one another, trying to goose the take. But once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. That was a missing piece. How was that? Morello was always winding us up. But he never did anything that might start an all out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales. Because in 35, he hit us with both barrels of his face and pasted it hey, on his face. Tommy. Oh, hey, boss, what's going on? I'm glad you're here. There you go, boss. I'm going to Pepe's for lunch, but Carlo called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. I'm already starving. You got a piece on you? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy, is all. So how's business, Tom? Hey, you know how it is. It's good. Sure, I know the business. I see the books every day. But since what happened happened, I know that a capo needs to talk to his soldiers without some other guy getting in the way. I guess we're mixing with a better sort of person now. And I like dealing with all these big shots we got on the pad. Anything's better than those grifters trying to shift their hooch before the 21st went through. Ah, this is only the start of it, Tom. I got plans. Plenty of good people lining up for a slice. Glad to hear it. Be nice for you. Some time away from Polly and his cockamamie schemes. Well, that's a better conversation, boss. I'll give you that. <laughs> sure I am. Me, Sam, and Polly, though, we're still real tight. We've been through some times together. Yeah, don't I know it.
you taste the Cassandra Tom? Oh. Oh, more wine. Hey, more wine here, please, quickly. <laughs> You're going to love this wine. It's a... Don Salieri. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you, Pepe. Yes. Hey, come. Our guest has arrived, eh? What's on the menu today? My mother, she would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Excellent. Bravo, bravo. Oh, Penny. Oh, let me get you a chair for you, huh? See, please. And to drink a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, bene, bene, bene. Okay. Huh? Uh, enjoy, huh? I'm glad you're off the roof, Tom. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. She told you? No. I put her up to it. Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. <laughs> uh, for you? And for you. <laughs> Peppy! The meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> Molto grazie, Don Salieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> Let me finish my wine. Hey, Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. Smoke them out, Joe. Shit, watch out! Going out the front door. Can you move? Not fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure, boss? Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, boss. Be careful. Tom, just be quick about it. Once it's clear. Now you're done. Boss! It's clear! Oh, 
Oh, look at the balls on this kid. You really saved my ass, Tom. We gotta go, boss. The cops will be here soon. I need a minute to catch my breath. Well, let me get you back to the bar. No, not the bar. We're going to see Carlo. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today, and he calls in sick. He set you up. <sighs> to us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlo's jacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this. Step on it, Tom. Every minute Carlo's still breathing is a minute that's got me pissed. Sure, boss. Can't believe these bastards have the brass balls to wreck my car. Had to be Carlo, didn't it? His pop was tight with Morello right when we started out. Apple don't fall far from the tree, huh? I wept at his funeral. And his sons will be laughing loud. His mom's already a widow, Tom, and now he's gonna make her lonely till the day she dies. For what? Some dough to buy his dope? And my foot through his face. You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad this happened. I get to plug another rat, and we finally go to the mattresses with Morello. Today's the day that damn breaks. Sure feels like it. You take a guy in. You give him a place in your family. You give him respect. And this, this is how he repays you? If he's done this, what else has he squealed on? The farm, the betting house, the ambush at the parking garage. Any of them could have been him. Jesus Christ, someone's been ratting us out to Morello for years. And the time we work it out is when his guys come this close to bumping me off. Why don't you let me go first, huh? Carlo might be waiting for us. No, Tom, my face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. <laughs> what the fuck? You goddamn dirty grifter. You better dangle, sweetheart. It's gonna be a closed casket, Carlo. <laughs> You okay, Buzz? Oh, yeah, just a little one. Let me catch my breath. Ah! Jesus, he's fast for a big guy. Don't let him get away! Help! Help me, someone! Come back here, Carlo! You're going to kill me! Hey, we ain't finished with you! Tommy, please! I can explain! Think about this now! Please! Let me talk to the boss! I can explain everything! Uh, Tommy, you gotta know! Bro, he was gonna kill Mom! I had to do it! I had to! Is he still alive? I'm not sure. Now we're sure. Sergio, how are you? Keeping out of trouble? Sure. Who's this? Wait a minute. Is that Gordy? It is. Hey, Gordy, how you doing, buddy? Hotly recognized you. What'd he do? You said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah. It's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well, he did some asking around. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. Unless you don't want to call him for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a change in leadership. Is that all right with you? Of course. Yeah. Now, 
What about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. God damn it! What happened? I don't know yet. Crew we sent is dead. Restaurants all shot to hell. Step your cry. Can't have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach Carlo? Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. <laughs> so the Ari must have figured Carlo was there. God damn it. <laughs> Even hear myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to <laughs> shut the fuck up! <laughs> We've been at war since we killed Papone. It's just out in the open now. What do you want me to do? Make your rounds. Tell little boys to keep their eyes peeled and their powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. Hey. Just uh, keep your head down, little brother. You too, Don Morello. We're at the start of something. Something big. You think? Morello tried to kill the Don. Not Tommy, not Polly, not anyone regular. The Don. It... Hey, you need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war, Tom. From today, we are at war. Haven't seen any trouble just yet. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I want guards and lookouts round the clock. Here, the warehouse, and all our businesses. How about people under our protection? Forget about it. Our guy's in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first, we have to soften them up. Merle's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off, so we need to scare them into abandoning Morello's sinking ship. We bump off the right idiot, the rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counts are still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. It's pulling out all the stops, booths, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just in normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellows are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay. I'll talk my way to the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew will be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore? Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with him there, and they'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. Galati's done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Born a Fortuna, Tom. Keeping out of trouble, I hope.
presidential address delivered earlier this year. This is part of our series looking back over the president's plans and results since his inauguration. Our responsibility is to all of the people in this country. This is a great national crusade. A crusade to destroy false idols, which is an enemy of the human spirit generated by this depression. Our I need some help. Anyone down on the works court? Reports of a speeding driver. Without Who wants to come with me and check that out? Hold it right. Thank you, sir. Eh, kind of shifty looking, isn't he? Sleep at the wheel? That'll be good for the beers tonight. Keep your nose clean in the future, eh? Sure. Uh, ticket issued. Go back to your patrols. <laughs> when cases of that kind occur, there will be those, of course, who will try to tell you that the exceptional failure is characteristic of the entire endeavor. It should be remembered that in every big job, there are some imperfections. There are chiselers in every walk of life. There are those in every industry who are guilty of unfair practices. Every profession has its black sheep, but long ex... Attention, folks, attention. We'll get you all aboard, but we will need to see tickets. You'll also be searched for safety. Thank you for your patience. The finest family in the city. No doubt in my mind. Who's done more? And all this after the loss of his son. You got him in fight, too? Charles always gets to teach you this kind of fireworks. Uh, Dottie, yes. You don't look like a guy with an invite. I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. A sailor back there who works on the steamer. His head hit something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him. For every ship that arrives in Empire Bay, there should be another departing. This is a big country, but we're filling up. No, you'd get a real job someday. Shoes for when he leaves. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. Sure. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech and pop him when he's done. How do I get away? Polly's borrowed a speedboat. After the speech, there's fireworks. We'll come as soon as we've seen him. You better be there on time. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. Looking good, Tom. The outfit don't get messed up. Keep it. Suits ya. You the new guy? Christ, you took your time. You think he's gonna pull this off? He sure is shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. You don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him. Keep, keep, 
putting my shoes in the wrong place every hey, day. You he almost done? Oh, well, I want the fire yeah. door. Who's gonna go clean the bathrooms? Heard some guests complain. You're volunteering to clean the toilets? Helen just <laughs> stands there and smiles. You got a rag there. Check every deck. Don't I know you from someplace? Nah, don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the Union, maybe? Sorry, buddy, I'm from out of town. Can't believe I got an invite. Drinks till dawn, the guy said. people, huh? Know where I can find the janitor? Back in a boat. Drunk as a skunk in the engine. Same as always. Figures. Thanks. Say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, I, I get that. What are you gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna give you a beat for starters. I'm gonna lay you uh, out! Uh, Jesus! Jesus! Uh, 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 Jesus!
Hey, John. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me, huh? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hey, thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Hey, welcome to my little party, right? <laughs> so, as you all know, it has been a tough time. Three years ago, my dear son, Billy, left us. An innocent pawn in a deadly gang war. A victim of the deceased, that is, organized crime. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this disease. Today is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday. And for a brighter future for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh?
Could be worse, huh? We could be killing you off the front of the train. He just got a good break, is all. Sergio Morella's always been lucky. He was born with more brains than his brother, that's for sure. Well, get him, boss. No, you tore off this job. You're broken mirrors on this one. We'll let the guy who killed Galati take a crack. Tommy here's got all the politicians scared. Maybe he can put Sergio in the ground. What do I need to know about this guy? Besides, he's got a lucky rabbit's foot up his ass. Sergio is Morello's top earner. He controls the unions, which means he controls the docks and can tax everything that's imported into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello's income will be wiped out. Any ideas on how to get to him? I don't want to end up in a tree like these two. You're going to scatter his ashes. It's a custom job. Attach it to the starter under his car, he'll be a human torch as soon as he turns the key. It's safe to carry. Yes, don't drop it. Shake it. Smoke near it. Yeah, it's safe. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Get it done, Tommy. For all our guys Morello's killed. And for all the money he's taken out of our pockets. I'll take care of it, boss. There's no way they'd come here. I used to run with his crew. If Morello wakes up one morning and wants to come heavy, he'll come heavy. Nah, now he won't. He goes with his gut. If there's one thing he's got, it's gut. You can see all of Little Italy bro. From the news desk of WLH 570, a special report on crime in our city. It had been hoped by lawmakers and the general public alike that the end of prohibition would cut off the mob's air supply. But two years since the repeal of the 18th Amendment, it seems to have merely added fuel to the conflagration of crime that engulfs the country. It would appear that removing the conditions that created a new type of virulent gangsterism is not going to remove the problem. The criminal empires that amassed such wealth and power in the last decade and a half are simply too powerful, too deep-rooted to simply be swept away. The more established of these organizations are consolidating their power. The competition between them continues to bring violence and bloodshed into the public square. We saw this at Empire Bay with the Vinci Moretti War that ended in the car bomb killing of mob boss Tommaso Moretti. Gangs such as the Vinci family are now, in many cases, highly sophisticated, well-organized international operations. They owe their success to their brutality and to the many lawmen and legislators in their pockets. Yes, don't allow yourself to be mistaken. The mob may be the instigator, the driving partner, but the corrupt politician or the dirty cop is the facilitator, and both roles must be played for organized crime to flourish. I've heard it mentioned in certain newspapers that the upward trajectory of the economy would quell the mob's opportunities to exploit police and lawmakers. That sadly doesn't appear to be the case. Those engaged in corruption are not doing so to put food on the table. City officials and public servants earn more than most and did so even at the height of the depression. So that frankly does not wash. Plenty of people far worse off live without sin. As we have seen in Lost Heaven, standing up to the mob can be a dangerous game. Suspected mob hits carried out against officials in a number of American cities attest to that. What are our state and federal governments doing to ease public concerns? What can we expect from J. Edgar Hoover and his BOI, now renamed the Federal Bureau of Investigations? Are we truly powerless in the face of such callous disregard for human life? We shall let you know if we ever receive answers to these questions. This concludes our special report.
For up-to-the-minute news and a wide range of modern music, please stay with us on Lost Heaven Radio. Call sign WLH. Yeah, that's gotta be Sergio's car. How am I gonna get through to it? I'll be home before supper. Hey, you want to go dancing this weekend? Maybe drop the kid off at your pop's place. Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, Christ. Hey! Stop! No, <laughs> oh, no, no. the chief of police admits his men have yet to apprehend any suspects in the brazen public assassination of city councilor Roberto Gilotti. Gilotti was gunned down while giving a speech at his own birthday party aboard the paddle steamer Lost Heaven Queen. According to eyewitness reports, the assassin made a daring escape by motorboat, aided by a number of associates, all under the cover of a lavish fireworks display. The public nature of the slaying, as well as the degree of professionalism with which it was carried out, have led some to speculate that Gilati was the latest public servant to become a victim of the epidemic of mob violence currently. Tara, you okay? Yeah, this is a car bomb. Things went south. We could draw about it later. Right now we gotta get that bastard. Let's go. What the hell? We got a message from Mr. Salieri. No! Kill these clowns! Push up! 
Sergio's getting away. Tom, we gotta get Sergio. He went out. To get over. I'm hit. Get me out of here. Back to the car. We gotta catch up before that idiot gets himself killed. Go get it! Doing. Kill that motherfucker! Right. Pick him up! 
the site! the dogs apart! Hey! Hey! Over here!
from the side. Take this. Got him. Train? Just winged me, asshole! You think you're the guy who's gonna kill me? can't stay hidden forever. For Adon to be feared, he's gotta be seen. Finally, word came through that he was gonna break cover. Morello wants to thumb his nose at us. Taking a show like there's not a war on, we'll meet him in the streets. We do him like this. We wait outside the theater till the end of the show. All those rich assholes will start coming out. That's when we hit Morello and his gorillas in a crowd before they see us coming. The theater's going to be packed, and not just with seps. There's a good chance the mayor, maybe even the chief, might be there too. That's the goddamn point, Tom. We kill Morello in public, in front of the city's creme de la creme. Then they'll all know who's in charge. And it doesn't matter if you have a badge or a gavel or a fat wad of cash in your pocket. If you cross Salgari and his boys, you're dead. OK, boss. We'll get it done. Take the machine guns. Make sure you don't draw attention to yourselves hanging around outside the theater. 
You keep the choppers hidden until you spot Morello. And then you light them up. I want it to look like that white suit is covered in roses. You got it. Sure, boss. This is it. We're finally doing this. Keep your head. We gotta get to the theater before the show's over. Tom, you're driving. We got the word, boys. Morello dies tonight. Tonight? Shit. Good luck, guys. Put your foot down, Tom. Can't believe after all these years we're finally going after Morello. Not his crew, not his family. Finally putting him in the ground. We're putting a lot of history to rest. What happens when he's gone? We'll be kings. Nah, I mean, what happens with the Don? You think he'll be all tore up? I think he'll start wearing a nice white suit. You boys doing all right? Yeah, just sweating bullets. You look how I feel. Nearly there. Let's keep it together. When we see him, go for Morello. No one else. Once he's down, his guys will panic. We're actually doing this. He's been up against the boss for what, 10 years? More. You think that white suit would make him an easier target? better than anyone. Don't worry. This is gonna be a squeeze. 
Morello's gotten himself a good driver, but he doesn't match you, Tom. all the way. Where's he going? He can't be skipping town with us going bumper to bumper with him. But wherever he's going, he's going there in a hurry. It's the airstrip. He's gonna go through the back. He's got a plane? Of course he's got a goddamn plane. There'll be more guys waiting. Good! We need to clean house! He's gotta die? This guy's gotta die! Okay, but let's keep us three off your list. They only just fixed up the airport since the last time. Muscle waiting. I see him. Oh, shit! God damn it! Uh, Everyone okay? Uh, yeah, I'm all right. Uh, just a bit of glass in my hair. <laughs> Nothing a cheap comb can't fix. Then we go after him on foot. Come on!
hear something through the back here. Come on, Tom. Gorillo's gotta be close. And all guns blazing and we finish them off. No way that bird's staying in the sky. That thing's not gonna land, it's gonna crash. It look uh, aeronautic to you. But thank Christ we got you in the car, Professor. Morello's not gonna walk away from a plane crash. That's a maybe, but he ain't dead till we've seen him dead. Out of all of us, you two should know that by now. Where's he trying to take it? Maybe out near the racetrack. More chance of landing it safe outside the city. Hell are maybe, but it's not gonna be safe. Wherever he comes down. Crap, we got cops. Wherever he comes down, we'll be there soon after. Is it gonna go? Yep. Yeah. It's going. All cars, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. But we don't have time to relax. We gotta be sure he's dead before the cops show. No one's gonna survive that! Hell of a lot of smoke. I can't believe we did this. And no. Don't seem real. Stay alert with your guns close. We've come too far to get lazy at the end. We don't have long. Every cop in the city is gonna be on his way. We get out, we check the wreckage, we leave. Got it? Sure we do. Daddy doesn't even know it yet. He knows it now. Yeah, pal. That'll do it. Come on. Let's make tracks. See you on the other side, Marku. You fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in a chair. 
You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The Don's books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever, and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family. For the Don. You recognize anyone? Look again. <sighs> Old man, that's Don Popone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. <laughs> that must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. <laughs> Jesus. They're just kids. Now they're Eddie's soldiers in Papone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know it could fill up the fucking crash they're building. In 22... Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello created Debbie up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Well, their friendship should have made the deal work, but didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good was all of Morello's money if it couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me? Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought, it just kept turning round and round in my head until one day... I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears of the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam pointing a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, then the guy next to you isn't just your partner, he's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adam were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. Any trouble? No, boss. No trouble at all. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mind to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I knew a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. He starts shouting for help. Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. 
and I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. Okay, boss. Good. Now, we gotta talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust a hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations, and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you'll give Turnbull the third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and his crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'll be talking to someone else. Then get it done. Hey, handsome. <laughs> Ladies. You're wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? Uh, he'll never look our way. Hey, Tommy. Boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Now, Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat to the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these, where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in the room with a view. Up on the top floor. I'm sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Find a way inside and make for the guard tower. The top deck is locked. That's what the key's for. This message is a little different. In recent years, our city has fallen prey to criminal elements. And only one man has shown that he has the strength and the moral fortitude required to once again allow the people to walk the streets without fear, with hope in their hearts. That man is Hank Turnbull. Mr. Turnbull stepped away from political life after 20 years as congressman of the 27th district. The appalling situation our state finds itself in has compelled him to step into the breach once more. And we could have no finer champion in the governor's mansion than Hank Turnbull. He'll bring back his experienced mayor and the criminals that have made our streets their playground. Proven in the battlefield that is the 27th Congressional District, Mr. Turnbull will be tough on crime and tough on the systemic corruption that plagues our state. We are lucky in the extreme to have such a warrior against Grimm stepping back on the field in our time of need. He receives the full backing and endorsement of the Behringer family and Behringer's department store. Behringer's department store and Hank Turnbull, leading the way for a brighter future. Vote Turnbull for governor. Hey, 
Hey, fella. Come over. You with Tony? Yeah. Your friend said you wanted the guard tower. Paid me to mark the way with this sign. Folks go through the sewer. Only way in. Then just keep heading up. Hey! Get out of there! We ain't going nowhere! Someone's no coming problem. through. No. Well, you ain't one of us. You're not welcome. I'm here. warning you, Mister. <laughs> 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 Can't you people just leave us be? Is that you, Cap? You're locked up tight, not getting in. Someone's coming through. The guard tower. It's uh, up through the main cell block. Case locked most of the time. Keep the feds out. Thanks. Be careful in here, stranger. We're protective of our own. There'd be more of you to evict us. Am I close to the guard tower? Real close. Elevator's out, but you can take the stairs. Have I 
they've been out. Everyone you see. The police! Where's the, the shooter? Police. I, I don't... Uh, where's the fucking...
All right, that's right. Okay. Get a little extra from him. We'll split it. Did you 
Mm, until the next the time. Okay. Check it issued. Go back to your patrols. Did you hear about this Turnbull? Heard he was crooked as the day is long. It says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Which one was that again? Woman suffrage, you idiot. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Nobody's just one thing, are they? Guess not. I gotta go to work. <sighs> Tom, don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Probably too late for that. <laughs> Great boss. And this is just a taste. I got a line on a whole shipment of Cameroons that have been impounded by customs. You guys are going to grab them. You want us to boost cigars? Something wrong with that? Customers in our nightclubs are paid through the nose for quality cigars. Still, it seems, I don't know, small time. I just knew you were a smart one, Tom. Can't put nothing past you. Small time is exactly right. That's how it's supposed to look, anyhow. The cigars are just a cover for a shipment of hot ice. The smuggled diamonds have been hidden in some of the boxes. The feds haven't found them yet. We're stealing diamonds from the feds? Don't worry about it. I've already discussed all the details with Sam here. He'll fill you in. Now, I got a meeting with the mayor at his favorite gentleman's club. Work out the details together. But I want those cigars back here before anyone catches on to the real loot. You got it? Sure, boss. Great. And don't drink all the good stuff while I'm gone. You know about this. Boss and I worked it out last night. We got a plan. Now, I'm not saying it's a good plan, but it won't get us killed. Probably. So what, then? We got a guy on the inside or something? No. We got to do this on our own. And it'll be rough. Cigars are packed in crates at the harbor. Shit. The place will be crawling with security. Yeah. Brute force won't work. We gotta play this one cool. So we're gonna steal a customs truck. Slip right in. Christ. I'm gonna kill the poor bastard driver. No. We'll just scare him a bit. All we need is his paperwork. Right. 
We don't need the hassle of dumping a body. Come on. See if we can get eyes on a customs truck down by the docks. You all right, Tom? Yeah. Just trying to figure out the angle is up. What's there to figure? Boss says a job needs doing, we're doing it. it. Just seems like a lot to put on the line. Even for some diamonds. The feds pinch us. We could do serious time. Then let's make sure we don't get caught. Right? Yeah. I got gear for the job stashed down near the harbor. If either of yous need something special, go see Vinny. All I need is a stiff drink. For Christ's sakes, Polly, just lay off for one night, please. Come on, let's go. You're making me nervous playing around with your piece like that. Sorry. Just got a lot on my mind as well. <laughs> that show. I had to figure there wasn't enough room up there. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, assholes. You guys are done. I don't even think I got plans. But you're wrong. You got big plans. Yeah. Spill it then. What are you working on? Been thinking about hitting up a savings and loan downtown. You want to rob a bank? Sure. I've been casing the place for months. I got it all worked out. I just need a few guys I can count on to watch my back. We're robbing a bank that's a little out of our league. We're robbing the fucking feds, ain't we? What's the difference? Well, Salieri's the goddamn difference, you nitwit. The Don sent us to steal these cigars. There ain't no way he sanctions a bank job. Well, then we don't tell him. You want to step out on the done? No. Not really. We can cut him in after we make the score. He'll be bent, sure. But he won't stay mad once he gets his share. I don't know, Polly. Yeah, I fucking know. You do what you want. I won't say nothing. Yeah, I owe you that much. But Salieri, if he finds out you're going behind his back, you'll be planted right next to Morello. You ask me, there ain't no hall worth that. He's right, Polly. You bring it to the Don, or let it go. Yeah. Just get to daydreaming, you know? Wake up. We're here. Tom, you take the car. Find a custom truck and meet us near the impound. Me and Polly, we'll go get the rest of the gear. Right. You got your head together. Yeah. Sober as a priest. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, quit busting my balls. I'm good.
Lost Heaven Art Gallery welcomes you to their upcoming exhibit. Bear witness to the rise and fall of empires. Since time began, the fortunes of civilization have been entwined with the prosperity or decline of great empires. Reserve your ticket and see the exhibit that is sure to have everyone talking. Marvel at artifacts from civilization's greatest heights and learn how such formidable powers were brought low and usurped. Edmunds Tools has all the stock and know-how required to tackle any job that could come up, both at home or in the yard. Whether replacing a bathroom set or building a carport, our staff knows exactly what's needed. And our price guarantee means you won't find what you need for cheaper anywhere locally. Edmunds Tools, for jobs big and small. Park up over there, Tom. Where's my uniform? Huh? Uh, this is all we got, pal. Besides, there's only room for two in a cap. You can ride in the back. Make sure you keep your head down or this whole thing is blown. Forget about it. I know when to keep my head down. Mm. Make you say that to all the girls. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get moving. All right, all right. Jesus Christ. You comfortable back there, Tom? What the hell do you think? What's the plan when we get to the impound? I don't know. We look for crates that came from Cameroon or something. The cigar place. You know how big the impound is? Relax. It'll be empty this time of night. We'll have the run of the place. Hey, you got your papers? Ah, uh, crap. Uh, yeah. Uh, Pete, you got the papers? The dash. What was that? What was what? What? Here you go, pal. All right, go through. Busy night tonight. Might not find a spot. You hear that? There's gonna be guys everywhere. It'll be fine. We just gotta think on our feet. Thinking on my feet is my worst thing, Sam. You know that. do you guys call this? We need to have gone through these shipments by sunup. Yeah. Sorry, we couldn't find our papers. But we found them again. Just show us what to do, pal. We're no. We're all new, buddy. It's just that some of us know what time we got a clock in. Come with me. Okay, Tom, looks like it's on you. Get into the warehouse and find a cigar crate that's hiding the diamonds. Okay. They keep records on everything here, so search their files. You're looking for Cameroon cigars that came in on a boat called the Bohemian. Shipped off on Tuesday, 23rd. Got that? Yeah. Don't get caught. Don't get seen. Come find us when you're done. Shit 
Besides, I got guys working overtime tonight. Back in DC, got wind that something big's come through here. Something worth finding. The assistant director's not gonna sleep till he knows. Come on, fellas. Let's speed this up. Once we're done with the small crates, we start cracking open the big ones next door. Money's good, but boy, these feds are assholes. Must have been through a hundred maxes already. Fuck me, fucking tired of this fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Place is huge. Okay, boys, check each crate, then we start cracking them open. There's hundreds. Then lucky you, having all night to search them. in here.
this warehouse shit. in here. Ah, jeez, give me a break. Found them. There he is. You sure we're getting what we came for? We're aces, boys. Good. Let's get them loaded and get out of here. That's the last of them. Let's dangle. I'm not riding in the back again. You're a better wheelman anyway. Just don't drive us into the bay. Shit. You hear that? Get the cigars back to where they're safe. Eyes on the road. Cops could be anywhere. So let's get out of sight, fast as you can, Tom. Checkpoint! Give it a wide berth, Tommy. Here they come! Ah, crap! in the compound. We were about to give up. The place was a maze. It's a miracle I found the crates. Next time we pull something like this, we need a better plan. More information. A better plan? He got the ice, didn't he? Yeah, but next time... Well, next time what? We run it all through you? The scores like these are your best thing? 
Guys, I'm trying to drive here. Wow. Can you drive like this in your old job? Guys, I'm trying to drive here. Let's get back to the warehouse without LHPD on our tail, huh? Sure. We got the diamonds, the boss will be happy. That's all that matters right now. Those rocks had better be as big as the goddamn ridge for all the crates we had to move tonight. How bad is it? It's the worst of it. Ah, it don't look too good. Don's gonna be pissed if we ruined any of the cigars. What the hell? Christ. It's dope. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Where are the diamonds? There ain't any. This is the real score. No. No, 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 no. Don said we would get diamonds. You can open every box. You're not going to find them. We put our fucking necks out on the line for this shit. Looks like it. You better cool off, Polly. The Don's coming. Shit. We don't say nothing about this to the Don. Okay, if he wanted us to know, he would have told us. He should have come clean. Sure. But for now, we keep our trap shut. Right? Yeah, okay. Polly? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I ain't saying nothing. Any problems, boys? One of the crates got a little banged up, is all. All right. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Might have lost a few cigars, but otherwise the merchandise should be okay, boss. Besides, ain't diamonds supposed to be the hardest thing around? Outside of my cock, maybe. Well, bravo, boys, bravo. You all got a well-deserved bonus coming your way. You want us to unload the crates into the warehouse? No, you can take a powder. These morons are gonna take it from here. You sure? What I say? Okay, boss. We'll dangle. Sam, give me a lift back to the bar. Sure, boss.
Guys coming? Now nah, we'll take the train. Okay. See you later. God damn it. I just about had it, Tommy. We got busted with all that smack, we would have died in prison. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? I already told you. The bank. Yeah. I don't care what Sam says, I'm getting that score. How much you figure? You want in? We're just talking. I knew I could count on you, pal. So which bank? Grand Imperial. Near North Park, it's downtown. Yeah, been there. A while back. Well, the security don't look tight. Easy getaway. Tellers who don't look like they put up a fight. Can't do it alone. Maybe. I'm not moving Black Tar for the Don. Especially if he's not cutting us in. And... I don't know. I just never want to be in that street again. What street? On my knees. Watching some poor skirt burn. Just because she got in our way. It was the wrong place in the wrong time. Just tough luck. Seems there ain't no other kind with us. I'm telling you, Tom, this is perfect. I wouldn't ask you to come in on this if I didn't think it was our ticket. We'll see. I'm not signing up for the job until I see what's what. If I get pinched, Sarah's done with me. You got a family to look after. I get that. But think about what this could mean for them. Watch it, buddy. You're treading into enemy territory without a map. Yeah. I don't know what it's like for you going home to your wife and kid, but that's why I'm doing this. Who's gonna marry me? Nearly 40 years old and nothing to show for it but my rap sheet. But we do this, I get enough scratch to finally get out. Who knows? You're not built for the domestic life, Bobby. If you're six months in, you'll put a bullet in your brain out of boredom. I'm ready to punch my ticket right now. We sit around for six months, just playing cards and busting balls, and I start to get lazy. Then everything blows up, and I gotta knock the rust off or I'm dead. One day I'm fighting to stay awake while the Don's telling us a story about the old days. One I've already heard a hundred times, and the next day, the next day I'm getting shot at, I'm trying to keep some shit in my pants. Fucking wearing me out, Tommy. So you're looking for the big one, though. I know it's a snipe hunt. Every little monster goes to bed dreaming about that last big score. But if we do this thing, I don't know. Might be just enough to get me a little pizzeria or something, you know? Sure. But if we're doing this, we're waiting till things calm down. Ah, you're already hooked, pal. Maybe. stays the same. Right. I take care of the crowd. You handle the manager. Threats don't work. Do what you gotta do. Keeps the vault keys on them. See, a teller sounds the alarm. How long do we get? Five minutes. Maybe more. Before the cops show. What if it all goes to hell? I'm not fucking around, Tom. You hear gunshots down at the vault. Don't come up. It's the money or nothing at all. You doing this? 
We're doing it. Stay where we can see your pretty faces. Anybody moves, I'll pop them! The manager, I need you all to stay on the ground. I see movement, people start getting shot. We all want everyone to get to go home and hug their kids tonight, right? No heroes, not today. No kidding around, you saw content? <laughs> <laughs> Please let us go. We won't do a thing. What are you doing? Shit. With me. Down to the vault. I'll do whatever you say. No one needs to get hurt. This make you feel big? Beating on a little guy? It's making me feel rich. And the little guy gets to walk away if he doesn't do anything stupid. How many guards at the boat? You're making me One. nervous when You're I get nervous. You gonna shoot? My trigger I finger don't gets know. Shaky. If I see a gun, he gets a bullet. So you tell him to stand down. It's all on you. Manager here is being good and cooperative. We're all doing what we're told, aren't we, buddy? Keep moving! You won't get away with this. Your sword never do. You just worry about yourself. You want to see your daughter graduate from high you, school? I'm you keep your hands you. where I can see them and tell your guard to do the same. Remember, when we get to your guard, you tell him to drop his gun. You got that? Listen to me very carefully. I need you to put down your... Oh, Sick of boys! Shoot him! Keys on the table. No one else has to die. I don't have to die.
Where now? Palermo Club. Sam's Club. Hey, it's empty right now. But he don't know, can't hurt him. We're almost there, Tom. We've almost done it. It's still almost, Molly. We'll only have done it once my heart stops trying to beat outside my chest. Go. I'll see you tomorrow. Unless I'm halfway to Hawaii. Oh, come on. I'm kidding. Hey, I couldn't have done this without you. I know that. Go home, celebrate with Sarah, come by my place in the morning, we'll split up the dough. Yeah, okay. Good luck. See you around, pal. <laughs> well, look at this. Christ has finally risen. I was getting ready to call the coroner. Sorry. Had a bit of trouble falling asleep this off. Me too. Thanks to you tossing and turning all night. Okay, what you do? We're just feeling lucky, is all. Got that right, champ. I've been thinking. Oh, yeah? I'll call the papers. 
I've been thinking about taking you and a kid out to the shore. You serious? Ain't you working? <laughs> Polly and me, we've come into some money. Huh. One of his cracked angles finally pay off? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Pack a few bags. I'll swing by after I go around to Polly's. What ain't you telling me, Tommy? Nothing. Sure, you and Polly are suddenly flush, and now you want to leave town for a few days? That don't square. What's the point of making a buck if we can't spend it? That ain't it. You're moving. Even when you're standing still. Yeah, you're nervous about something. Polly, you don't even know why yet. Well, that must be it. Well, you better figure it out before you get to Polly's. Just in case it's him that got you all wound up. <laughs> Polly's all right. Don't worry about it. Well, I guess I'll see you soon. solid leads in the case of the audacious bank robbery that recently shocked the city. The victors of the Battle of the Grand Imperial, as it's become known, remain at large. The robbery, in which armed thugs emptied the vault and left a trail of death, was one of the largest recorded in the state by dollar amount. The raid was executed with a high degree of violence, and although successful, did not seem to be the work of professional bank robbers. That is according to a source within the FBI who has spoken to a courier journalist on the condition of anonymity. At the time of the robbery, the chief of police was adamant that those responsible would be brought to justice swiftly and that all the resources of the Lost Heaven Police Department were available to the case's lead investigator. However, despite conducting numerous interviews and fielding calls from the public, an actionable lead has yet to be forthcoming. The chief of police has stated that those with any information about the robbery or the perpetrators can anonymously contact their local police station. As time passes, the greater the pressure on the chief to achieve results. If he's unable to secure justice for those slain that day, and due to the violence meted out, it must only be a matter of time before the G-men take over. Thank you for listening. Now we take you back to some of the latest musical numbers. This neighborhood's going to the dogs. What happened to your door? Christ only knows. Hey, hey, you heard a ruckus last night? Nah, I've been working nights. Guy in the apartment above me was raising hell. Again. Bali! Oh, 
Ali. Sam, it's me. It's Tom. Where's Polly? He's, uh... He's dead. I'm looking at him, slumped over in the hallway, torn a fucking skull. Oh, God. I was... I was calling to warn him. About what? Jesus Christ. I owe you fellas my life three times over. Warn him about what, Sam? Salieri. He found out about the bank job. You're in deep shit, Tom. You gotta uh, disappear. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I just need some cash to get me and the girls out of town. Can you swing that? Sure. Anything, pal. Uh, you want me to come to Polly's? No. No, I can't stay here. Uh, meet me at the, the city gallery. Yeah, okay. Keep your head down, Tom. I'll uh, see you soon. And, uh... Thanks, Sam. I always pay my debts, son. You know that. Bali. I gotta go. I'm sorry. I'm gonna call the cops. Something ain't right. Someone said it could have been gunshots. First job I A brief report now on the latest political developments in Europe. With the annexation of Austria, and with many predicting that Czechoslovakia's Sudetenland will be next, Adolf Hitler has shown Europe that he is now calling the shots. Despite the restrictions placed on Germany by the Treaty of Versailles, neither France nor Great Britain have done much to stand in Hitler's way up to this point. It had been hoped that the policy of appeasement toward his territorial ambitions would create a more prolonged peace in Europe, but it seems increasingly likely that this course of action will result in new conflict. Should Europe once again descend into the chaos of war, what stance should the United States take? Many would still say European problems are European problems. But the deteriorating situation and the worrying possible outcomes for the world now seem difficult for us to ignore. Don't move, Tommy. Shit. Hey, Tom. Sam. What the hell's going on? You and Polly. You put me in a bad spot. I know, Sam. And I'm sorry about that, but I need to get out of town. Can you help me or not? There you go again. Making me choose between my friends and the family. 
This is what you were looking for, Apollis. Here's your cut. It's more than you deserve. Sam. You killed him. You killed Polly. No. Polly got himself killed. And you seem real tore off about it. I'm just in a good mood. Things are right between me and the Don. I'm moving up. And I just found this big bag of money. The Don knows about Frank, Tom. The whore, too. That whore? The girl you were sweet on? You're the one that let her live. I'm sorry about this, Tom. But our business has rules. Shame, too. Don Salieri really liked you. Guess we'll both have a good cry at your funeral. You think you're doing this because you're loyal, but you're not. You're just scared. Maybe. But you would've lived a lot longer if you would've just looked over your shoulder from time to time. Goodbye. Don't let him suffer, boys. He's my buddy.
you, Sam! I know you do the same, Tom. Hell, I know you've done the same. Celieri was ripping us off. Ripping you off, baby. Me, I play these things smart. Taking cover. Now you're done. Throw some flames. Warming him up. But the thing about drug money is it pays for a lot of muscle. Put them down, boys! This all you got? Hey, hey! <laughs> Nobody's carrying you to the doctor this time, Sam. You kill me now in the dawn. She's never gonna stop looking for you. But you let me live. I'll tell Salieri you're dead. You can disappear. Just like Frank. Only you'll be smart enough to stay gone. Right? What happened to him? He was hiding out in Europe. <laughs> but the dumb bastard. He started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. So Salieri, he sent out a crew. And his family? Can't do 
it, can you? There's always that little voice in the back of your head. Maybe sounds like your baby girl, or Sarah. Always telling you not to pull that trigger. And you can't make up your mind. It's getting easier every time you open your fucking mouth. <laughs> we sure had some laughs, right? Remember that time? Me, you, and Polly. When Sympathize with the situation, Tom, and I want to help your family, but I can't do anything unless you're willing to testify in court. You understand that, right? You'll have to sit in that box, stare down Salieri, Ralphie, Vinny, maybe even Sarah's father. I, I don't know if you got the stones for it, if I'm being honest. I'll do what needs to be done. But you need to get my family new identities and ship them far away from here. Well, hold on. There's a long road between us sitting here bumping gums and Sarah sleeping under new stars. Then I'm sorry I wasted your time. And mine. I gotta get out of town. Look, Tom. I got a family too. Wife. Four boys. All Irish twins. Yeah. So you know I understand what you're going through. All the worrying over them, the fear that one of them's gonna go before you do. With this case, it'll be one of the biggest this city has ever seen. It could drag on for years. I don't know if I can protect you for that long, not the way things are downtown. Everyone's got to eat, right? Even dirty cops. Just being honest here, I mean, there's a few bodies I can trust downtown, but not many. And if it comes down to you or me taking a bullet, I'm not going to make my wife a widow. Keeping you alive in exactly the moral course, but I'll try. That's a pretty good sales job. <laughs> Trying to make me think you got nothing on the line. But this is your whole career right here. However it works out for me, whether I live or die, you get to crack the Morello case and take down a Don. Celieri will be your legacy. Don't go thinking you know me, Tom. Salieri belongs behind bars. I'll help you so long as you help me put him there. That's all this is. Then that has to be enough. A long time ago, in another life. Someone once told me that family is a man's Achilles heel, his greatest weakness. Maybe he was right. Because everything I've done, both good and bad, I've done for my family. Turned my back on people they thought were my friends. I've kept a lot of hard promises. I spent eight years totally alone, trying to find myself so I could come home 
No better husband. No better father. A better man. Now that I'm a lot older and just a bit wiser, <laughs> I see that family is our greatest weakness, but it's also our greatest strength. It gets us out of bed in the morning. It lets us chase our dreams, even when they're moving too fast to catch. It keeps us from falling over. When we're too tired to take another step. Mr. Angelo. Yes. Mr. Salieri sends his regards. best pals will come and go but family family is forever 